mama, don't stress your mind. We coming home tonight. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. Tonight, we are going to learn how to do breakout session in Google Classroom. So let's go. So we are in our email and we are going to go to Google Classroom and we are going to find a class um, to do our breakout session. All right, so let's go. So I'm just going to choose a random class and then do the breakout session. All right, so first thing, I'm going to copy the the meet link and i'm going to go to the classroom and we are going to create the breakout session right there so we go to create we go to materials and then i'm just going to give my title breakout session and say group one right and i'm i am going to paste my description here because i want my students to know what they're going to do but before I, I do that, I'm going to paste the Google link first. So I'm going to take out all of the numbers from the end of the, the meet, and we are going to stop at look up. So I'm going to rename that group, group one. So group one, and then I'm going to give some instructions right there what to do. So I'm just going to copy and paste my instruction for time. And then I'm going to go and I can put it to a topic or I can just leave it by itself. And I'm going to assign my group members for group one. Say for instance, I have all my students listed. So I'm going to put maybe five students in that group. So only those five or six students can see this assignment. And then I press schedule because I want them to see that tomorrow so i'm going to do that first group all right so i'm going to just edit and give it a title say breakout session so i'm just going to create a topic say breakout session so the students can know when they go to their class wall they know when to go to the breakout session so that's group one so i'm going to create another group with the rest of my students. So I go to create, go to material, and then I'm going to label again, break out session. And it's gonna be group, group two. I'm just placing the question. I'm gonna copy the link again. So let me schedule first and then I can go back. So I go to um, save draft because I want to copy the link again so I can give another group a different link. So I go and I go to edit and I'm going to add another group link. So I'm just going to give this one. So remember you take all, all the numbers and letters and you stop at look up. This one is group two. And then I'm going to select all my students for group two. So I did maybe about five. So I stop at maybe bold. So I'm going to name the rest of my students that are in this group. So as I said before, only the person that is in the group will see this on their page. So I'm going to edit this one and put it under the topic, breakout session, schedule. So now I have two groups and group one cannot go into group two class because it's a breakout session in the class. So you can give your students group work and you can go into each group and you can discuss with the group much smaller. If you have a large group, say for instance, 40 students, 50 students in the class, you can break it down into groups and you can go into the different groups as a teacher and help the students with their group assignment. All right, so because of time, I've created the rest of breakout session. So I'm just running through to make sure everything is correct with the meet link. So let's go back to group one. So in group one, we have, after look up, we have group one and remember no space. So if we have space before, remember no space. Group three, let me see group three. So we have after look up, we have group three, remember no space. So you can put letters 
and numbers after look up and you'll be fine different numbers that is so we can have different groups thank you very much for watching and i hope you learned something today subscribe share and like i'm out <laughs> Thank you.